what does trauma mean to you? And you just touched on that. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I think trauma is probably the most ignored, belittled, and important thing that we shouldn't be ignoring because the consequences are ser serious in terms of mental health, in terms of physical health, in terms of conflicts that keep repeating, repeating themselves in different parts of the world. So it's really something that's, I think it's, at first, this was something that nobody uh, talked about. And I think many people are talking about it now. Uh, and it's it's out in the open, I guess I guess you could say. But again, when I started developing my work, it was like 12, 13 years before there was a definition of trauma as PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And for me, this was something not just a, an array of symptoms, but wounds, injuries that have happened to us and we carry with us into our into our present life into our adult lives so uh, and I, I have an understanding of both both uh, the definition but I think more importantly as a way of looking at different woundings and finding ways to come to peace with those woundings and so for me that's kind of that both sides of trauma you're right I believe there exists in humans a fundamental primal drive toward wholeness yes. and health Yes. But there is, and that is so beautiful. What do you say to the person who maybe is despondent, yeah. overwhelmed, sure, um, hopeless maybe, they don't even yeah. know where to begin to listen to their body, let alone acknowledge their trauma? Or sure. You have to go gently. You have to go gently with that. Um, but one of the things... Because it's in the body, you see that you see that in the person. You see the collapse in depression, or the turning down and away in shame, and these are all things that the body does. And often, when you can work with the person, when they become aware of that body state and what the opposite of that body state would be, they often find themselves freeing from some of that gripping uh, despair and despondency. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it doesn't happen all at once. Well, often it doesn't happen all at once. But with persistence and with courage and enlisting that primal drive towards wholeness, towards healing and wholeness, takes people where they need to go, where they where they really want to go. And I think without this drive, you know, healing wouldn't be possible. It really is, I think, an absolute essential part of the healing process because we're not erasing the person's trauma. We're not um, helping them to change their negative thoughts. It's really about creating these new experiences in the body which contradict those of overwhelming helplessness. And again, that became the core feature of SE, of somatic experiencing. Mm -hmm. 